this is Kevin with Mixed Coach. Today I'm answering a question from Larry. He has a scenario where he wants to send himself, he's a drummer, he would like to send himself a copy of the mix with more click track in it so that uh, he doesn't bother any of the other musicians with uh, the metronome or the click track. I'm going to show Larry how to do that in this video. Now the easiest thing to do is to you know get a mix going here. If if you want a copy of this mix that you're doing here, uh, we're going to copy this mix right up to here. So let's listen to this mix real quick. Let's get it set up the way we want to, and then I'm going to show you how you can copy that with a click in there. Okay, listening. There are people everywhere living on the street. Pull the steel and fiddle down. I've got everything I need. Take it on Let's pull the bass down too. To okay, keep keep in mind that we do, we, we're going to send this click to his mix. Okay, I'm going to push that up so we can hear a little bit of it. There are people okay, now keep in mind he doesn't want everybody else to have to hear this. He just wants to hear it himself. So for now, I'm going to leave it up. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the option key and select everything that I want to be in his mix, okay? And everything you can see everything is selected. Now what I want to do is go up here to the send and I'm just going to grab the top one. I'm going to hold the shift option keys down and I'm going to go to another output. Now what we're listening to is A1 and 2. Now you you may not have this many outputs, but it doesn't matter. All you need is an extra set of outputs. So I'm just going to go with 3 and 4. Okay, now if you noticed, everything that was selected got a brand new send on it, okay? Now, I happen to have uh, this FMP is the Follow uh, Mix Panning, I believe, is what it stands for. And what that does is, if you notice, this is the click. Ever how it's panned over here, let me pull this over here to where you can see it. See these pans here are side by side now. When I move this pan, it's going to follow the panning. That doesn't really matter. I've got that turned on, which is a nice option to have if you're setting up headphone mixes quick, but you don't have to have that turned on. What I want to do, since I've got this mix set up, I want to make sure that all of these in pre, that way I can mess with this mix here that that the I'm listening to and what I'm sending the drummer uh, is completely separate, but I do want to send him a mix without having to think about it too much. So here's what I'm going to do. Everything is selected and everything's got a volume. Now I want to show you real quick too uh, a quick way to. I want to show you a quick way to. If you hold the command key and click the button beside three and four, you can actually see the mixer up here just in that channel. And I want to show you for demonstrating uh, how to do this. See how this pan changes this up here if it's follow mix panning. But if you want to just copy it over, all you have to do is go to edit automation and copy to send what you want to do is copy the current value of these faders and these pans or whatever you select here volume pan mute etc um, you want to copy it to send a which is what we have up here and when you hit OK the pan, you notice the pan's jumped. So now we have exactly the same mix and also what I want to do too is I want to make sure I want to hold shift and option and hit the pre button. Now every one of these should go pre without having to turn on these are pre fader in other words the mix in this happens before these faders so now I can move these and these faders don't change here okay still stays the same mix now to get the click out of our mix and into his mix all we have to do is pull it out of our mix and notice that it stayed up here okay we can even push it up in in his mix now he's got a brand new mix that's almost the same as ours but he has a lot more click in his and he has it in the center. If he ever wanted it to be panned to the right or left, you can also do that too. You'd have to turn off the follow mix panning on this. But anyway, that's a Larry, that's a quick way 
to get yourself a brand new mix that's the same as everyone else's but just with a lot of click in it and uh, my hats off to you for wanting to uh, stay with the click <laughs> it's always a nice thing when the drummer wants to stay with the click so anyway Larry hope it helps and uh, if you want to see some more tutorials like this be sure you visit mixcoach.com and even sign up for my newsletter I've got a couple of free things I'd like to give you if you go over there look for the thing that says five things great every great mixer knows just sign up for that and i'll send it straight to you okay thanks for watching talk to you soon bye